All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because in today's video, we're talking about the yield max distributions for the month of February. Now, when I went on yield max's Twitter, you could see here that they don't necessarily have all the yield max ETFs posted. But what I did do is I found all the yield max ETFs posted for the month of February. So we're going to go through that. We're going to go through the standard stocks like TSOY, Kony, and then also Square because those are the ones I own. But then I'm going to shout out some honorable mentions and show you guys our underlying stocks and why some of the yield max ETFs were able to generate such crazy high dividend yields. So in this video, we're going over the yield max ETFs. I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, please remember to subscribe. We're up to 4,070 subscribers, growing subscribers every single day. And I want to say thank you guys for being a part of this video. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So the first stock we're going to talk about today is going to be TSOY. What was TSOY's dividend? And you know what? I actually, I couldn't even find it on the YieldMax ETFs. They haven't posted it there, only on the Twitter. And so YieldMax, Tesla, is posting a dividend of 40 cents. Now, this is a huge, pretty much downgrade to their dividend. Obviously, their ETF... TSLY has fallen pretty significantly and so has the stock price of Tesla. I do understand that options are obviously correlated to the underlying stocks movement and how well it performs and obviously how well yield max themselves are able to write those options and capture that upside. Now the best thing for Tesla is to move slowly upwards over time. Unfortunately, we've really been seeing Tesla go really down over time, which could be a potentially good buying opportunity. I am going to disclose that I did buy some shares, but I will make a video on that tomorrow and I'll tell you exactly what share price. But for the current time being, Tesla and TSO, sorry, TSOY is going to be paying a 40 cent dividend. Now, honestly, I think that's a pretty fair dividend just because of the share price decline, but obviously because Tesla hasn't been performing that great. But moving to our next stock that I want to show you is Kony. Now, Kony sitting at about $19. Coinbase, it's been moving a little bit down to flat for the recent time being. And this also has come at a little bit of a hit to the dividend just with the lack of movement. And you can see here, we're going back to kind of what they once previously were. So a dollar and about seven dollar eight cents or so. So that brings Coney's dividend yield significantly down from what was it here? It was probably up to about over 160 percent. Yeah, 170%, but now we're seeing a dividend yield of about 60% for Kony with a $107 February dividend. Now, the next stock that I do own is QQQY, and same thing with Kony here. It's been relatively flat for the period of January, so we're expecting a much lower dividend. SQY actually came in significantly lower than what I was personally expecting. 22% is the new dividend yield, and a dividend of about 38 cents. Now you can see here across the board, a lot of the yield max dividends, yield, sorry, yield max ETFs were paying out much smaller distributions. And that is the theme for February as we were kind of in a little bit of a bull run with a lot of them. And now we're slowing down entering bear markets and periods of kind of like choppy volatility where there isn't too much volatility to the upside per se for yield max to capture those great distributions now let's move to some honorable mentions so we got amdy nvdy nfly amdy is the biggest yield max dividend that is going to be released for the month of february it's kind of interesting because it's not no longer coinbase and coiny it is now amdy but there is a reason for that when we look at amdy if i do have that up here you could see that, sure, the yield max version over time has actually gone up from about $20 to $22, so it's performed fairly well. But AMDY, the underlying stock, has pretty much exploded in this time period. It's gone from, let's see when AMDY was introduced, September. We find September on here. So September, AMDY was trading at about $100, and it's currently trading about $170, had a huge run up, and that is kind of the catalyst for this huge dividend, 167 cents. Moving on to the next, NVDY. Look at NVDY. We have NVIDIA, which is absolutely just pretty much, it was, it was pretty flat for a while, but then over the recent month in January, it has exploded from under $500 to almost $700. This is putting NVIDIA at almost a $1.7 trillion market cap. And when we look at the yield max version of this to check this, we can see that over time, it was relatively flat, pay, paying out some pretty decent dividend yields, I would assume as pretty much the dividends distributions would 
kind of knock out the current share price. But in the past month, you can see it's gone from about $21 to about $26, kind of what Kony did back a couple months ago. And they will now be paying out a pretty substantial dividend at about $1.53. And the next dividend I want to show you is NFLY, which is the Netflix Yield Max Income Option Strategy ETF. Uh, the ETF has kind of fallen a bit over the kind of the course of its history. But you can see here Netflix over the past year or so has absolutely gone like pretty good. You can see from $330 all the way up to $555 at the current share price. And in the past month, obviously had a really good share price increase. I assume this is due to earnings. I'm not really keeping up with Netflix stock, so I'm not really aware. But one thing I do want to warn you guys with is when you see these massive increases in the underlying stocks and in the yield max ETFs, like we've seen in Coinbase and Kony, for example, you see they could potentially be followed by a pretty steep decline, which is something to be aware. Just because a yield max ETF is paying a super high dividend at the current month, the current month of February, doesn't mean it's going to continue to pay these crazy amounts. Doesn't mean that AMDY is going to continue to pay a dollar sixty. Nvidia is going to be paying. Nvidia is going to be paying a dollar fifty three. This is just due to this month, and this is just due to the growth over the past month. If you're looking for to get a yield max ETF with these kind of dividends, you want to find it before it explodes. You want to find Nvidia and NVDY before it has this massive run up. And that's kind of my advice to you. What I can do is I can keep you guys updated. I do think that currently, I do think that Square is going to be a good long term buy. That's why I bought some SQY as an underlying holding, and I'm currently holding that. So if SQY can break that. That could potentially be a yield max holding that could bring back these dividends. Obviously, for the current month of February, we've seen a pretty substantial decrease in a lot of the dividends. Just to kind of briefly, super briefly, before we end this video, go over them all. We have OARC at 36%, Apply at 11%. Wow, really down. NVDY up to 69%. AMZ 35% staying consistent. FBY was up to 61%. GOOY roughly 30%. NFLY roughly 80%. Kony 70% or so. MSFO 35%. Dizzo, Dizzo not Lizzo, about 17 and a half. We have Exxon, the Exxon Yield Max ETF roughly 15%. JPMO 14%, AMDY, 90%-ish, PayPal, 40%, which is pretty good, SQY, 22%, way down from the 90% last month, Moderna, the Moderna one, MRNY, down to 35%, this was over 100% last month, and then AIYY, 30% dividend. So, these were the dividend distributions for YieldMax. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which one, which ETF you have down below in the comments for your yield max ETFs. And let me know what you guys think about the distributions. If they were good, if they were higher than expected, lower than expected, probably lower than expected. But let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. So without further ado, we're up to 4,070 subscribers. I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys take care and I will see you guys in the next one.